Okay, composite figures give a lot of people a lot of trouble. And you just need to be careful when you look at them. You have to determine a few things. So first you have to determine what geometric figures do I have? And then also what fraction of those figures do I have? And which parts, which sides of it do I have? Okay, so we're going to start with this uh, semicircle right here. So you see that, of course, you've got a circle, um, and you have a half circle. But notice when we're looking at the perimeter, we have half of the circle, we do have the perimeter, but then we've got another part on there as well. So this red part is showing the part of the circle that is the perimeter of a circle, but we have another part as well that we're going to have to add in. So I'm coloring these to show that these are two different parts I'm going to have to look at. Now, it's a circle, so for circles you always need to know the radius. So if I look at my circle, um, I can see, oh, wait, this is a weird thing. Hold on, this may not be what I thought it was. It may not be. I thought it was a circle cut down the middle, but I don't think it is. Let me undo what I've got here. Yeah, it looks like, yep, okay, so I needed to be more careful. So... <coughs> what we actually have is this one inch mark here. I think that's supposed to divide up our circle. So our circle divides right there. So and we'll check when we get the answer if, if I'm interpreting it correctly. Okay, so that dotted orange line is actually not part of the perimeter. That's just showing where um, the, the circle ends. So I'm going to assume that that's half of a circle. So I'm going to want half of the perimeter. But for a circle, um, I have to know um, what the radius is. And for this circle, I know that the diameter is 4 inches. So it's 4 inches all the way across. So 2 inches is the radius. The circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. And so the entire circumference of this circle would be 2 pi times 2, which is 4 pi. But we only have half of the circle. So that gives us half of 4 pi is 2 pi. So that's the contradiction contribution we have from the circle. Right now I'm just working on the perimeter. Okay, now I also have part of a rectangle. So I need to see which sides of the rectangle I have. And sometimes with a rectangle, it's easier rather than thinking of some formula for the perimeter just to add them up. Just look at what you've got and add them up. So I have the rectangle here in red. So I have one inch here. And then I have four inches here. And then I have another one inch up here. So the part of the perimeter from my rectangle is 1 plus 4 plus 1. One plus 4 plus 1. So that's 6 inches. So our entire perimeter is the part from the circle, which was 2 pi, plus 6 or uh, 2 pi plus 6, 12.3. Now let's see if that's what the answer was supposed to be for the perimeter. 12.28, yep. 
so I rounded a little bit more. Okay, so that was the perimeter. Now, next we have to do the area. And again, you have to decide, you have to look at it, and you have to say, okay, well, what are my shapes? And what parts of those shapes do I have? So we see that we have half of a circle, and we actually have an entire rectangle. Even though we don't have all the sides of it, we have all of its area. So when I shade this in, so I have a rectangle right here. I have an entire rectangle, so it's my area. So area of rectangle. equals base times height, which would be one inch times four inches, which is four inches squared. So that's the area of the rectangle part. And then our circle, we determined that that was half a circle. And the area of a circle is pi r squared. Now we have to get our radius, we have to know what the radius is. The diameter was 4, going all the way across was 4, we know that's 4, so the radius is 2. So our area is going to be pi times 2 squared, which is 4 pi. But we only have half of a circle, and so for the semicircle, we'll have 0.5 times 4 pi. which is 6.28. And so my total area will be 9 from my rectangle plus 6.28 from my semicircle or 15.28. It's an area, so that's inches squared. Let's see if that's the right answer. No, 10.28. So what did I do wrong? Let's go back. I'm good at making mistakes. Let's see. Did I take half of the circle? Let's see, the rectangle. Oh, I don't know how I got... Oh, I said that was 9, but it's 4. I just can't read my writing. All right. So this was 4 inches squared. So the rectangle was 4 inches squared. So 4 inches squared plus 6.28 is 10.28 inches squared. I don't know if I want to make this video public. I don't think I will because I don't want people to see how many mistakes I make. Okay, all right. Now let's go on to number two. So first, identify what shapes we have. We have a rectangle and we have half of a circle. So let's see where those are. So if I draw a line right here, I now have it divided neatly into um, a semicircle and a rectangle. So let's get the perimeter first. Let's start with the semicircle. So the perimeter of a semicircle is the circumference, which is 2 pi r. Well, we have to figure out r. Right here, we have that all the way across the circle is 8 centimeters. So all the way from here to here is 8. So the radius has to equal 4. So the perimeter is going to be 2 times pi times 4, or 8 pi. But that's only half of a circle, so we want half of that. And so the perimeter of the half circle is 4 pi. So we have that. I don't know how to get rid of that. Oh, now I have all of that. Great. 
Okay, so the perimeter of the half circle is 4 pi. Now it's time to get to the rectangle. And for uh, the rectangle, you're just going to add up the lengths of the sides, but we have to be a little careful because we don't have um, all parts of all sides. So I have this part right here and this part right here. Those are the two tricky parts. And then I have this side, which is four centimeters, and this side, which is four centimeters. And then I have this side, which is 16 centimeters. So now I just need to figure out uh, my parts that are right here, from here to here, and from here to here. Now notice all the way across the rectangle has to be 16. So going all the way from here to here has to be 16 because it's the same as this side. That's 16. Now what do we have cut out of the middle from it? Cut out from the middle of it we have 8 centimeters. So what we have left that we still have here is our total that was 16 minus 8. So we have 8 centimeters left and equally divided on either side. So this side is 4 centimeters and this side is 4 centimeters. So the perimeter of our rectangle is 16 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 so that's 16 plus 16, or 32 centimeters. No! Oh, because oh, I forgot to... Uh, I forgot my circle part. So, so that's, uh, so we had 16 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 32, and then we've got our circle, um, and I had half the circle was 4 pi. Okay, I'm really tired, but I don't think the answer they have down there is right, but, okay, so we have the rectangle plus the part of our circle, which we said was 4 pi, and so that would be... Uh, where'd my calculator go? <coughs> 16 plus 4 pi. Uh, except it wasn't 16, was it? It was 32 plus 4 pi. This is a complete disaster. Uh, 4 pi. 44.57 centimeters. Uh, I'm going to start that one over just to make sure that I didn't make any mistakes because that's not the answer they have there. So let's see. So I'm going to erase all of this. Sure, I'm looking at things right. Oh, it would have been quicker to go make the eraser bigger. Too late. Mostly gone. I wonder why the red line didn't go away. Okay, it doesn't matter. Sorry. So, we've got, just looking at this, make sure I have this right. We have 
half of a circle. The diameter of the circle is 8 centimeters, so the radius is 4 centimeters. So the circumference of an entire circle is 2 pi r. So if we had the whole circle, that would be 2 times pi times 4, which would be 8 pi. We only have half of the circle, and so the perimeter from the circle is 4 pi. So around here, around that part, is 4 pi. And we know this side is 16, labeled that way. This side is 4, labeled. This side is 4, opposite that 4, so it has to be 4. This side also has to be 4, and this side also has to be 4, because all the way across is 16, 16 minus 8. So if we take out this middle part, which is 8, then we're left with 8. 16 minus 8 is 8. To put it on either side, we have 4. So going all the way around, starting from this corner and going around clockwise, we have 16 plus 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4 pi, because that's our circle, is 4 pi, plus 4 plus 4. Sixteen plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 pi plus 4 plus 4, 44.56, I don't know, is that what I got before? Do you remember? Yeah, 44.56, so I'm pretty sure that's right. So the perimeter, 44.56. Uh, inches squared. Centimeter squared. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now for the area. First, we'll get the area of our rectangle. And the area of a rectangle is base times height. So that would be 16 times 4, which is 64. And then we want the area of a circle. The area of a circle is pi r squared. But we only want half of it because it's half a circle. So I'm just going to go ahead and say pi r squared times a half. So that's pi. We already established that the radius of our circle is 4 squared times uh, 0.5. And so my total area is 64 plus pi times 4 squared times 0 0.5. Here. 64 plus 64 plus pi times 4 squared times 0.5 equals 89.5. Centimeter squared. Okay, so that one, we got the same thing for that. All right, so now uh, moving on to number three, sometimes you have to be clever to see where your shapes are. So notice on number three that if we drew a line right across here, then what we would have in the middle, we'd have a rectangle. And then on either end, we would have a circle. So you can imagine if I just took that top part of the circle and the bottom part of the circle 
and put it together, I have a whole circle. So I have this rectangle. Now the rectangle does not have, um, I don't know how to get this out of here. And that's not it. The rectangle does not have um, the top and bottom as parts of the perimeter because the perimeter is just really what goes around on the outside. But for the circle, we have the entire circle. And so uh, the circumference for the circle is 2 pi r. So it'll be 2 times pi. Now the radius all the way across is 10 meters. So the radius is half of that, which is 5. So 2 times pi times 5 is 10 pi. So that's the circumference for the circle. Now for the rectangle part, we only have the long sides. Those are the only sides we have. And so we have plus 12 plus 12. So the perimeter is going to be 12 plus 12 plus 10 pi. Fifty-five point four two. Okay, and now for the area. Now this one is going to be one of our easier ones because we have the area of a complete circle and we have the area of a complete rectangle, and so the area of the complete circle is pi r squared plus we'll have the area of the rectangle which is base times height so we're going to have pi times 5 squared plus because the radius of the circle was 5 plus the area of the rectangle that's base times height so that's 10 times 12 so we have pi times 5 squared plus 10 times 12 pi times 5 squared plus 10 times 12 is 198.5. So this will be 198.5 meters squared, and our perimeter was in meters, so that would be meters. Yep. All right. Now let's take a look at this uh, Mickey Mouse over here. So this one really is not bad. Uh, I guess we have to assume that Mickey has symmetric ears. That that's also 3 centimeters. So the perimeter, we have one 12 centimeter circle. Well, one circle that has 12 centimeter diameter. You always got to pay attention. So the radius is 6 centimeters. And two circles with 3 centimeters. And we have the border of all of these. So the perimeter is going to be the circumference for each of the circles. So it's 2 pi r1 plus 2 pi r2 plus 2 pi r3, where those are the radii of the circles. So it'll be 2 pi times 6 plus 2 pi times 3 plus 2 pi times 3 2 pi times 6 plus 2 pi times 3 plus 2 pi times 3 24 pi or 75.4 centimeters. Okay. Um, now for the area, we have the area of a circle with radius six centimeters plus two circles with three centimeters. So the area is going to be pi r1 squared plus pi r2 squared plus pi r3 squared. So that's pi times 6 squared plus pi times 3 squared plus pi times 3 squared. So 
so um, there it is. Okay, so pi times six squared is thirty six plus three squared is nine pi times nine plus pi times nine fifty four pi or one sixty nine point six four centimeters squared. Notice area is always in units squared, whereas perimeter is always just in units. Okay, so now what do we have here? Okay, that's a strange shape, but we have to identify, well, what is this really made of? And if you look closely, You can see we have a square, and around the square we have four half circles. So we have one square plus four half circles makes two whole circles. Notice that the square doesn't actually have any boundary that's showing on the uh, outside so the the perimeter is just made up of the circle parts so um, and the circle parts we have if you look at it all together we had the four half circles so we had this half circle plus this half circle makes a whole circle and then this half circle plus that half circle makes another whole circle so we have uh, the equivalent of two whole circles. So um, we need to find out the radius. So if the distance from here to here is six meters, then half that distance is three meters. So that's the radius. So the radius is three meters. So a circumference is two pi r. So that would be 2, that's uh, just 3. 2 times pi times 3 is 6 pi. But I have, that's the circumference of one circle, but I've got two of them. So total will be 2 times 6 pi, or 12 pi. which is 37.7 37.7 meters okay all right now we want to get the area so now with the area we do have to pay attention to the square so our area is going to be made up of two circles plus one square the circles have radius 3 and the length of the side of a, the square is 6 and the area of a circle is pi r squared and the area of a square is side squared So uh, the side and the side of the square is six. And if you look at our picture here, we have from here to here is six. So for each circle, we'll have pi times three squared, which is nine pi. But we have two circles, so we'll just keep that in mind. We have two circles for the square. It's the side is 6, so the area is 6 squared, which is 36. So our total area is going to be 9 pi plus 9 pi plus 36. Now, 
Uh, meters squared if our units are meters. Our units are meters. Yep, that's right. Okay, so one more. Okay, so this one, this one, the tricky part is figuring out what shapes do I have. So what happens if I complete this circle? Do I have room to complete this circle? I do. Okay, so I do have, in terms of area, in terms of area of this circle, so we can see, see how I just drew that, and now I'm going to erase it. So we know that we have in here at least the area of four circles. Now let's look at our perimeter. So our perimeter is our distance around the outside. So if I go from here all the way around to here, how much of the circle have I gotten to? Well, if you think about it, if I cut across the circle this way, that cuts it in half, and that cuts it in half. So I got, I have three-fourths of the circumference of the circle. So that's how much I have. So for each circle on here, I have three-fourths of the circumference. So I have a total of four circles times on each circle I have three-fourths of the circumference so times 2 pi r so four circles times I only have three-fourths of the circle times 2 pi r now what is r well we have that the distance from here to here is 10 so that distance is 10. Well, that means that this distance is 5. And that's the radius of one of the circles. So my perimeter is going to be 4 times 3 fourths times 2 pi times 5. Uh, these fours cancel. So I have 3 times 2 is 6 times 5 is 30, so I have 30 pi. Which is 94.25. Inches, inches. Okay, so that's our perimeter. Okay, now we want to get the area. So the area is a little more sneaky. I can go back and do what I did when I first started and draw in the whole circle and see what kind of sense we can make of it. Okay, so we know we have the area of four whole circles. And we also have this area here that we have to account for. Okay, so I drew that square in there. I actually, I don't, it's not very good square. I'm going to try to draw a better one. Sorry, I'm so slow, and this is uh, taking so long, but you asked for a video, and I'm tired.
This is what you're getting. And you better like it. Okay, so now, let's see. Uh, I was going to draw that square. Uh, I don't know what that is. Seems to just want to be moving it and not drawing a new line. Oh wait, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> okay, I give up. I give up. Oh, and it's not going to let me erase that. Yeah, it doesn't even undo. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so I will just have to do my best with drawing a straight line. Okay, so, this square goes from the center of this, I mean, this side of the square goes from the center of this circle to the center of this circle, and then to the center of this circle, and to the center of this circle, and to the center of this circle. So, what, I'm going to look at just one of these circles, let's look at this bottom left circle. And let's look at the part that's not included in the square. So the part that's not included in the square is exactly three-fourths of the circle because the square is cutting out a corner of it. So my entire area is going to be the area of, I have four circles, that's four times. For each circle, I only have three-fourths of the total area. So three-fourths pi r squared. So three-fourths pi r squared. So pi r squared would be the area of the whole circle. I only have three-fourths of it, so I'll multiply by three-fourths. But I've got four of these circles here. So I can add all those together. Plus, I have the area of the square. Now, I have the distance from this side to this side is 10. These are circles. It has to be symmetric, so that side also has to be 10. The area of a square is side squared, so that's 10 squared. So 4 times 3 fourths times pi r squared. Um, the 4's cancel. And so I get 3 times pi times r. Now the radius of the circle, if from here to here is 10, then to go from here to here must be 5. So 3 times 10, 3 pi, so this is going to be, oh, this was, it was pi r squared, and so now r is 5. So that's 5 squared, plus we had this 10 squared uh, from our rectangle. So I have 3 times pi times 5 squared plus 10 squared. So this part, um, 3 pi 5 squared, that's the area of all four of these circles. The radius of the circle is 5, that's where this comes from. It was pi r squared, 
um, and there were four of them, so it was four pi r squared, but each circle we only had three fourths of it, so it was multiplied by three fourths. So now I need to do that calculation. And I have three times pi times five squared plus 10 squared was the area of the square, 335.6, and our units are inches squared. Now, when you do this on your own, don't try to do the, uh, uh, what I do with doing the entire uh, addition step in one step. Uh, unless you're really super careful, but you do have to, you do at least have to write it out and write it out more neatly than I did. So, like you would on this one, the way you would want to write this, say if it was a test, is you would say a equals four uh, times three fourths pi r squared plus side squared. And then you could say 4 times 3 fourths is 3 pi, and r, you now know, is 5 squared plus 10 squared, and then you get your answer. And let's see what we write. 335. Yep. And it looks like there's one more on here that I am too tired. So that's it. I'm done.